Hello you guys and welcome back to Ria's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Ria and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life at home and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life at home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. And today's video is like a get it all done video back to school style because we need to get ready for back to school. And I know you guys are probably thinking, I'm still in July, I'm still enjoying summer. I'm not trying to think about back to school. But if you've been to the stores, all of the stores, Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, mostly all stores have all their back to school items out already. And if you want to get a good deal on them and when you want to get the best things for your kids, the ones that they want to pick, you want to grab things now and you want to get things started ahead of time um, before everything is all gone. Plus my daughters, both of them are actually doing online, um, online homeschooling next year. And my youngest who is doing eighth grade, she got her boxes already from her school. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a minute, but, um, they sent some boxes of the different supplies that they give us. And so her boxes have come in. And so I'm super excited about the stuff they've already sent, which I'm going to share that with you guys in today's video. Plus I ordered my girls some new desks because they are doing, you know, online homeschool. And so I'm going to kind of share with you guys the Ikea desk that I got for them and talk a little bit about that, that. Plus, I got some Dollar Tree organization items that they picked out for their desk. So I want to share with you guys those ideas and also share with you guys some of the stuff that they picked out in Walmart for back to school. So it wasn't that much stuff because like I said, they're doing online, but they did pick out some things that I want to share with you guys. And then I need to tidy up um, different parts of like the home organization, the back to school home organization that I have in my home before school starts. So I need to go declutter and clean the coat closet which you guys have seen that that is like our drop zone for like our hats and our jackets and our coats and uh scarves and backpacks and everything like that which they won't have backpacks this year but since last year the last day of school they threw everything in there so i haven't even opened that yet so uh, it's probably gonna look a hot mess so i need to clean that out i also need to clean out their homework drawer and I also want to clean out their, you know, their mailboxes in our family command center as well because they have all the old school papers and stuff like that. And all those um, things that I have set up, all those back to school like stations, organization stations that I set up, I have videos for them and I will link them down below for you guys. The family command center, um, our drop zones, um, our lunchbox station and our homework drawer all that stuff i have it as videos before and i'll link it down below but in today's video since it's like getting ready you know getting things done and getting ready for back to school i need to go through them and clean them and declutter them so today is going to be like vlog style where i'm going to be sharing with you guys kind of like what homeschool program we're doing some of the stuff that my daughter already got plus a haul from walmart and dollar tree and then you'll also get some cleaning motivation so it'll be a little bit of everything so the first thing I want to start off with is I want to chit chat with you guys for a little bit and kind of tell you guys why we're doing homeschooling. If you want to just jump in already into the hall or you want to jump into already and see what, you know, the homeschool that we're doing for the kids about that, or if you want to just jump into the cleaning motivation, I have timestamps um, on this video so you could just click to whatever you want if you want to skip the chit chat. But I know a lot of you guys ask me about certain things and you guys want me to share things with you guys. So this is me sharing. So but you can always check the time steps. But anyways, we're doing homeschool this year because my oldest, she's been wanting to do homeschool since last spring. Um, the schools here right now are really getting bad, the ones that I have in my area. I live in Texas and the schools have been kind of going downhill after the pandemic. You know, a lot of kids, um, a lot of behavior problems happening and a lot of teachers and staff are not staying on um, at the jobs because of you know not getting treated right and not being you know backed up when it comes to you know the students and parents stuff like that so it was a whole lot of things and there was letting a lot of things slide like behavioral issues and it just got to the point where in high school it was just always um chaotic there was always something that was like a danger to the kids and also um there were so many times that my oldest would tell me she was in the gym for like three or four periods because they didn't have any teachers to come in that day. So they put a bunch of kids in the gym and just let them sit there because they because of COVID or because of some teachers just, you know, they quit. There was no staff for the teaching. So a lot of times my daughter didn't really learn anything. Um, she basically taught herself last year. And then my youngest as well in middle school, it was the same thing. She was basically teaching herself too, because it was the same situation. Um, and they were just like, and a lot of reasons they were like, um, is like they were just letting the kids get by and they just weren't learning anything. 
and plus my daughter my oldest one her anxiety started getting really bad towards the end of the school year and she wanted to be in homeschool last year but by that time it was too late for me to put her in so i decided that this year i was going to get her in as soon as um, i could because they they filled up so fast last year and then my youngest i just felt like there was too much you know situations going on in middle school that i wanted her to um try online school as well and plus my husband, the job that he has is very flexible and me working from home, my job is very flexible and we wanna do a lot of family vacations coming up and with them doing online homeschool, they, it gives us more flexibility to be able to go to family vacations during the year when it's cheaper as opposed to waiting for the summertime when it's all crowded and stuff like that. So that was another plus as well. And you know, uh, um, as we have seen lately, there's a lot of dangers going on in school with school shootings and different things happening like that. And I was always worried about like, whenever I drop my kids off, like what's gonna to happen today? So it was just a lot and so that's what we decided to do homeschooling. So that's what we're doing um, this year. We're doing K-12. Um, I don't know if that's um, something that people hear everywhere. I'm, I've heard that it's in other states, but it's definitely, they talk about it in Texas. Um, it is a public school online, so it is free. And when you put in your kids' grades, you basically put in um, what grade they want and they give you the options of the schools that they provide. Now, like I said, the schools are free, but there are some options where it's like more of a private type of school where I think they have a little bit more that comes with that school and then you can pay for that. But they do have the free option, which I chose for both my girls. I have the free option. They send you all the materials. Like you guys are gonna see all the stuff that got sent to my middle schooler because she got her boxes already. I don't know what my, um, my 11th grader is gonna get, but my um, middle schooler, she already got a bunch of science stuff, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. Um, but I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know too much about it because this is my first year. My sister was the one that's had my nephew in it for the past two years and she loves it. And so I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I can't wait to try it. So that is what we are doing this year. We're doing homeschool. So because we're doing homeschool, like I said, there's not a lot of school supplies that we need to get. We don't have to get backpacks. We don't have to get lunch boxes. We really don't have to get no binders or anything like that because they're gonna do everything online. But the girls did pick up some things um, for back to school that I wanted to share with you guys. So I told you guys that my daughters are obsessed with, uh, so the stuff that I'm gonna share with you is all from Walmart. So I told you guys that my daughters are obsessed with mechanical pencils, especially my oldest, who she does not like Dollar Tree mechanical pencils. She's very bougie like that. So she always liked the, the paper mate ones. And this is the one that she likes to have. Um, so we got her those. I did get her the lead from Dollar Tree um, to use in that, but this is the one that she always wants to get. Like I said, she's very picky about that. Um, and then my youngest, um, I convinced her to get this one. This one is from Bic. Um, it's mechanical pencils as well. And you get like 24 plus, they have to say you have a bonus of three. So I thought I was like, get this one because you get more bang for your buck. And look at all the pretty colors that it comes in. They do have uh, two more two more other packs that have different um, shades of colors, but this one was more like the, kind of like the pastel metallic ones. And I thought these were really cute and you get so much of these. Um, I will link everything down below because I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but I will link everything that I got from Walmart down below if you want to get it. Um, my youngest also got these felt tip pens from Pen Gear because I got her a planner and that I'll show you guys in a minute. And so she can do stuff in her planner, but also for school she can do things. And then both my daughters, like I said, they don't really need a binder, a dedicated binder or anything like that because they're gonna be um, basically doing most of the stuff online or like they'll have, like my daughter, um, I already saw in her books, she has a workbook. So she'll be doing stuff in her workbook and then they just like kind of like scan it and send it in. But um, from what, there's a, there's a Facebook, Facebook group that I'm on that once you are on that group, you can talk with other moms and I ask them about what supplies I should get. And they basically said to get, um, that you take your notes online, but that, you know, one of them, her son, he likes to take notes on pencil and paper. And that is how my daughter is. She likes to have, you know, her notes like written down on paper. So she wanted to get a notebook and this one is the, um, college rule notebook and has five subjects, the five star. This is the one that she, they both actually got this one. They come in a bunch of different colors, but they both wanted white. And like I said, they have five sections in it. So it has like where you can, where it's like divided into five sections like that. And so it has like a little folder in it too. So they can take notes for each class. And then I'm going to get her like these little dividers that she can put in here so she can know like her different subjects, but they both got this. And then my youngest, I told them both, I wanted them to get a planner. My oldest said she's going to use her phone or she has something on her computer, but my youngest likes a paper planner like I do. So she found this one at Walmart that says squeeze the day, which is really, really cute. This one, I do believe it was around $10, I remember. And it has like this little like charm on it. It's really, really cute. Um, it's $10 and this is basically, you can tell it's geared towards um, a student because the stickers on it, it has like 
good times best day ever absolutely crushing it um it has like art english math it has all the subjects like a sticker they have like a test sticker a read study summer break fall break it has post-it notes appointments game like it has stickers for everything basically for a student so i think that was really good it keeps her organized on not only her assignments and stuff like that but like organizing her day and like if she has to um um if she has her own appointments and stuff like that coming up she can start to keep more organized it comes with a little like folder which is cute so she can keep the stickers in there and then what i love about this planner is that it's not it doesn't start on january it doesn't start august you get to start it whenever you want it so it has the stickers right here so that you can start it whenever you're ready for it so some people start school in september some people start august so she can start whenever she wants um and put that sticker of course it comes with like the little holiday guide and personal information the personal information stuff you know most of the stuff that you can see on that you'll get like emergency contacts so she has the pages for that let me see what else um and then it goes into the month so for every month what i like about this is that they ha she has a page that says my goals goals to achieve top priority personal wishes what i'm grateful for what i'm excited about so that is on the beginning of every month she can like kind of like jot down things and then on the second page it says i'm currently celebrating loving eating drinking watching planning listening to and then notes and reflections so she can always write down like what she's into so i told her that this could be like a journal for her so she can always refer back to it as she gets older so i think that's really cute and then it goes into the place for the month and like you can see right there there's a place for you to put whatever month you're starting in and then it goes into her planning for the week and so what i also love about it is that in the beginning of each week it says my top three priorities this week so she can always put like what are her priorities this week if it's like a test an exam a project or something like that and then she can go into um what it is but it's really really cute i like it i'm trying to show you this and make sure i hope it's not blurry for y'all but it's really really cute and then at the end she, it has like a bunch of note pages so i'm hoping that the camera is picking this up for you guys because it keeps trying to get my face and i'm trying to see if it's if it's getting it let's see there we go um but yeah it has like the note pages but it's real cute my like i said my oldest she said that she's gonna do um stuff on her computer so that's for her so that's stuff i got for walmart like i said um i got them new desks because they are gonna be working from home i got them the ikea desk now one thing i want to tell you guys about the ikea desk and i wanted to tell you guys this because in case you're experiencing like me i've been trying to get this ikea desk for so long and I think because a lot of people were doing it online school, it was like sold out. So like the little like dress, the drawers were like sold out for a, the longest. So I was trying to order the desk and it kept saying that it wasn't in stock in the one that's closest to me. So then I was like, okay, I'll buy it separately because with Ikea, basically all the desk sets and all the stuff that you buy is just different pieces that they put together as a bundle for you. So you can buy the separate pieces. So I was like, okay, I'll buy the drawer and I'll buy the top and I'll buy the leg separate. When I went to go put the order in, um, the dresser i mean the the drawers were uh, available to, for pickup in my area the top was but the white legs were not so i figured that's why the, the desks weren't able to be picked up in my area because um the white legs weren't available for that set but when i clicked on the black legs the black legs were available so i told my girls i was like look we've been waiting for these desks for the longest first of all we were waiting for the drawers and they didn't have them in stock for the longest now they have them in stock now they don't have the white legs i was like we'll just buy the black legs and we'll just spray paint them and then we'll just do that because i need these desks so actually the desk um the legs are actually downstairs right now i spray painted them this morning i'm waiting for them to dry i've already done the dressers uh last night so i'll be sharing them with you today i'm actually gonna, once the legs are dry i'm gonna put everything together and i'm gonna share with you guys um our desk and stuff and how they're using it but that's i just wanted to tell you guys that that's an idea if you guys are trying to wait for a desk for back to school or if you're waiting you know because you're doing homeschool or you just want something for your kids and ikea keeps having things run out then just get if it's not the color that you want you can just get that color and you can spray paint it or paint it you know because sometimes it takes forever for it to come in stock and, and i see a lot of people are doing more homeschooling now because of all the stuff that's going on so that is just an option for you guys and the one that's the ikea that's closest to me is already an hour away so the next one would have been like two and a half hours away so that was like my only choice so i wanted to share with that with y'all just in case y'all are in that same situation 
So now I'm going to share with you guys the stuff that we got from Dollar Tree so that my daughters can organize their rooms but also organize the desk. But before that, I want to share with you guys one thing that I found at Dollar Tree in the plus section that was Halloween that I can't wait to share with you guys. You guys know I've been sharing with you guys all the new Halloween stuff and the fall stuff that's been coming in. The Dollar Tree Plus section is amazing and they do have like things that I feel like are great and affordable. You don't have to DIY and everything's done. This thing was only $3 and I love it. Look how big it is and how cute it is. It comes in three different colors. It comes in this silver, it comes in a white, and it comes in a black. But it's like the skeleton hands holding up the, the head and then it's like a bowl. So you can make this a vase. You can put flowers in it. You can put greenery in it. You can use it as a candy bowl. Um, you can use it for the parties. There's so many things that you can do with this. I can't wait to DIY or add something to it to share with you guys for my decor. So stay tuned for that. But I had to share that with you guys because I saw it and I picked it up. But now let's jump into the organization stuff. So for the drawers, one of the best organizers that I love from Dollar Tree that I shared with you guys before are these organizing baskets right here. These right here are the best bang for your buck because everybody loves that clear organization. They're so into it right now, but those can be quite expensive anywhere else. And this gives you that clear organization look um, at such a fraction of the price. So you can get the long ones like this for $1.25. Uh, you guys have seen me organize different things in my home with this. And when you see me clean out the, the homework drawer, you'll see that I use these and the other ones to organize all the pens and stuff in there. And I actually use this to organize my makeup and the girls are gonna use it to organize all their stuff for, um, for their desk as well. So it's a good size, it's really deep. And like I said, only for $1.25 for this one. The medium size ones, you get two for a dollar and they're this size right here. So this is size comparison. So you get this size for $1.25 and then this is, you get two for $1.25. I'm sorry, I gotta remember saying $1.25 because you know, nothing's a dollar anymore. But you get two of these. And then if you get the little ones, which um, they come like this, they come three for um, $1.25. Now they have them in clear. I like the clear ones. So me and my youngest, we picked up the clear ones for my makeup drawer because I also bought me a desk for makeup to make a makeup vanity for me and so me and my youngest got the clear my oldest is the one that loved the gray so she picked up the gray so it comes in two different colors you can get the clear um just the clear white or the clear gray I think they're actually both uh, pretty cute but my daughter likes the contrast of like the black and black gray and white so she got this one so again you get the little ones like this for three dollars and this is this one's good like if you're gonna do this for like a vanity this is good for like your lipsticks guys like this holds up your lipstick straight up and it's a good organizer for your lipsticks so three for a dollar 25 these are two for dollar 25 and then like i said the dollar 25 so you'll see us organize it we only bought a couple because we don't know quite what they're going to try to organize in it because my oldest one hasn't got all her stuff yet so we kind of wanted to get a couple to see how they fit in the ikea um, drawers and we'll show that with you later on um but we might get more so stay tuned they're probably gonna have more videos of back to school because i'm gonna have more boxes coming from homeschooling plus more things are gonna be popping up at the school um at the stores so this is probably gonna be not it's not gonna be the only video back to school so just stay tuned another thing that we got for organizing the drawers that, that i didn't even think of when my oldest one thought about it is she picked up these basket um these baskets that you can get in the uh where all the baskets are at dollar tree and usually people use this for the pantry my daughter said that she wanted to use it for the drawer because she doesn't want nothing to scratch the bottom of her drawer so when she puts her books or her notebooks she could put it in here so i thought that was a great idea and they come in black normally they come in like brown and gray no brown and beige but now they come in black which i love you guys know i'm into that black and white so she picked this one up so i thought that was a great idea they also picked up these wire basket trash cans because they wanted some new trash cans for their um for near their desk and so they wanted this my youngest got the white my oldest got the black and then i also picked up some of the trash cans at dollar tree the waste baskets the little ones i have an organization idea that i'm gonna do to organize some of my craft items so stay tuned i am i am actually organizing my craft room right now and so um i'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the organization i'm doing in my craft room and it's a lot of stuff is gonna be from dollar tree so this is one of the things so i picked that up and then another thing from Dollar Tree that I wanted to try is these vacuum storage bags because I need to organize a bunch of blankets and pillows and I need to suck the air out of it because I need more storage. So I'm going to see if these work. So stay tuned. If they do, I will share them with you on 
my Instagram stories if they do if they do work. Okay, so another place that we went to yesterday was Target as well. And we went to Five and Below, but there was really nothing in Five and Below. So yesterday was just like a back to school shopping trip of the different things the girls are gonna buy. Um, stay tuned because they'll probably do back to school uh, clothing haul. And if you guys wanna see what my girls got, I'll share them with you guys. They're basically, it's funny because my daughters, they're, they are fashionable, but since they're gonna be home all the time, they said that they're just gonna get like some cute lounge wear. So if you guys wanna see, you know, how you know my teen who she's gonna be she's 16 she's gonna be 17 and then my youngest oh my gosh she's gonna be 13 soon next month um if you want to see how the clothes that they bought and how they put them together let me know in the comments down below and i'll share them with you guys although i know my oldest you guys are probably gonna see um neck down because she doesn't like to show her face on on screen but if you guys want to see the clothes they buy let me know and i'll share them with you but another thing that they bought um that they bought at target was they wanted new bedding they wanted some new bedding and new things for their room because basically they're going to be in their room a lot now doing homeschool. I already bought them a new bedding set last year. So I told them that if they wanted a new bedding set, they had to use their own money. So both of them purchased a new comforter. It's like this white soft comforter. It was actually on sale um, at Target. It was $20 and it was on sale for $15. And um, I thought that was a good deal for like the thick comforter. And then my oldest one, she got a new bedding set that was like this beautiful white and blue bedding set. Um, and that one was from Threshold, I believe, and it's really, really pretty. She saw it on TikTok, so she wanted it. So she got that as well. But then uh, something else that she got for her desk that I want, I couldn't wait to share with you guys is this LED task lamp from Room Essentials. Usually I don't really buy too much stuff at Target because dark, Target can be quite expensive. I'm mostly like a Walmart person. But this one was actually a good deal. It was $16 for this lamp, this desk lamp. And it's like a desk lamp, but then it's also storage that she can like store her pens, like right here and then also like any papers or something or whatever she wants to store here and then it comes where it's a usb um port right here and also a plug right here so it, it i like it because it's like so much stuff for just 16 bucks and it's also a desk lamp and normally i think a desk lamp by itself like a cute one like this for 16 dollars is a good deal but the fact that it's a desk lamp and it's storage and also she can it has a USB port and it has a plug. It's really cute. And she loved it, so she got it. She got this in white. They had them in a bunch of other different colors, um, but she picked the white one. And that was pretty much everything they bought. So now I'm about to jump into doing the cleaning now. And we're going to, you know, start with uh, that closet because uh, we haven't been in that closet since the last day of school when they threw everything in there. So brace yourself because it's probably going to be a big mess. So I forgot that I wanted to share with you guys what my girls, uh, what my youngest got in her box first. Um, so she got four boxes already sent to her from the school and mostly um, three, well, she had two boxes and then like mostly they were like science stuff. So she gets to do all this science stuff um, at home and they send you everything, which I thought is such amazing that they send you everything. So this box pretty much here is full of like all the science gear that you'll need, safety goggles. There's a map in there. Um, test tubes, there's a ruler, there's a timer, a stopwatch, um, some string for all the stuff that we're going to do science wise. Also in here, there's more science things like a block. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> a beaker, um, some test tubes. Um, a th I think this is, I don't know, what is this called? This is a Newton spring scale. Um, all this different stuff. Iodine, balloons. All these different things to do science so basically everything for science they actually send it to it so I, it's like I'm gonna have my own little science lab at the house not only did they send this stuff but they also sent her a school microscope uh, microscope microscope yes and my nephew he's doing sixth grade and so he got one as well and so my nephew's in sixth grade my daughter's in eighth so it's basically they got the same kind of boxes so they might be doing the same projects together so we might get together when they do that but they send you this as well um, this is like a used one. Um, I think what they do is from what I've seen on the web pages, um, they send you stuff and then you send it back as well and they just reuse it. So I'm gonna have to clean this really well because it is used, but I don't care. You know, at least we got something, you know, as far as like for homeschool and they're providing everything for me. I didn't have to buy anything. So it's a free school and they provide all this stuff. So, um, this is pretty cool. So actually the old desk that's in my daughter's room now, um, I'm going to put it in our loft area and I'm gonna make like a science corner and that's what I'm gonna put all this stuff at And so it's not in her room She's gonna have like a little science corner and a little loft area and then for her books So far from what they've sent us and even in the book the box will tell you tips for sharing your k-12 box and stuff like that um, here's another um, Another map there's one right here a bigger one and then they also have like a globe in here somewhere like an inflatable globe so she has a map she also has um understanding geography 
She's going to have American History Before 1865, The Student Guide, um, Volume B for History, and Volume A for History. So she has her history books. They've sent me and her geography books, and they sent me her science stuff. So all the math stuff hasn't come yet, um, but we'll see about that. But so far, these are the boxes that they got. So we're going to organize this in her desk in her room, and then this is going to be in the little kind of science corner that I'm going to share with you guys with the old desk. Okay, so here's one of the drop zones in my home. It's the coat closet by the door that's also by the downstairs bathroom. It's where we hang up all our jackets and, you know, my purse and our backpacks and stuff like that. But it was also where the girls put their backpacks, which was down here. And as you can see, it is lost in there somewhere. They have just thrown it in here the last day of school. They even gone in here and jackets have fallen. It's a big mess. Um, so I have to organize all that. I actually need to go through to see what jackets they still fit. And then up there is supposed to be like where we keep our, you know, our scarves, our gloves and hats and stuff. And it's supposed to be organized. And as you can see, someone just threw theirs up there. So it's a big mess in here. So I'm going to declutter all this stuff and get it ready for, you know, the upcoming school year. Even though they won't be using it as far as like backpacks and stuff like that, it still needs to be utilized come fall time and winter time when we need to use our jackets a lot more. And now that Ari's working, she does have a bag for work. And so um, she has her bag up here too. So, and I just need to figure out what new jackets they need because they've grown and I know they are not fitting some of the stuff that's in here. So let's declutter and clean this. So here's how the closet looks now guys and it looks so much better. I got I decided to take the jackets that were here and to wash them because it's the ones that we use the most so I figured they were dirty so I put them in the washer and also the ones that were all over here. As you can see it's empty now that we don't have the girls backpacks. The only thing that's in there are kind of like my bags. Whenever we would go like to splash pads or like when we would go to like those water parks and stuff like that I would take those bags so I always have extra bags for whenever we go like on picnics or water parks so that's my bags. We have room in here if the girls get into extracurricular activities or and they need like a bag, they can put it down here. Um, up here, I always normally keep my purse. We have um, Ari's work bag. And then we did 
I had the girls go through the baskets off camera of the stuff that they wanted um, so they can, you know, see what fits and what doesn't fit. Brianna got rid of basically everything and I got rid of some stuff. Ariana kept some stuff, but I see that we have to get some more gloves and maybe some beanies for the winter time. And yes, guys, it does get cold here in Texas, especially after that freeze we had about a year ago. Was it the day? Well, no, it was the year before last when we had a freeze. It was really bad. So it does get cold here, so I do like to get them gloves and beanies because you just never know. And then it looks empty right here, but after I wash everything, this will be filled with the jackets and the coats and stuff. But I wiped down everything. I cleaned everything. You saw me sweep. I will mop this um, another day when I do my um, my deep clean of the entranceway. I'll come in here and mop this, but it looks so much better. So clean, ready for the new school year. Now I'm about to tackle the mailboxes in the Family Command Center and get rid of all the old papers from last from last year's school year and from the old school okay so here's the ikea desk that i got for both my daughters and also for my vanity as you can see there are three different pieces that it comes with like the drawer piece the top piece and the legs again you could buy this as a bundle but if they don't have it in stock you can always buy them separate pieces i will say that this this part right here was so easy to put together but what gave me trouble was the legs guys let me tell you the screws that they sent me as you can see one of them is still kind of sticking out the screws that they sent me to screw that in did not screw in well it was so hard it kept getting stuck so what i had to do was i had to get a bigger screw that was like a little bit thicker pre-drill the screw holes and then go back in with that because they would not fit it was giving me such a trouble such a hard time so if you ever get those legs and they're not fitting in all the way kind of get a screw that's a little bit bigger pre-drill the holes with that screw like kind of screw it in and screw it back out and then it'll fit better but after i got the hang of that i was able to put things together and as you can see ari already put her little lamp right there um she has her stuff uh decorated here she has her laptop downstairs but that's where her laptop's gonna go and then i'm gonna show you like the organization she had in here with the the dollar tree stuff so she see that she has her little like um dividers right here we're gonna go back to the store and get her another one of the little medium ones to go in here she just has a long one right now so then she'll have like another space back there but you see how they fit perfectly in this drawer um the the three going to the side they just fit it's like I, I think they're like made for this drawer so if you want to organize your ikea drawers these um these little dividers are perfect for the drawer so that's her top drawer and then she has stuff here loose here because we have to go back and get some more um she's into crystals and stuff like that so then she has her baskets in here um, that black basket that I shared with you guys so that she could put all her notebooks and stuff. She didn't want nothing to scratch the bottom of her um, her desk. Um, she has just loose paper there. This is actually something I got from Dollar Tree a while back. It's this little like caboodle um, that they had. These were cute. They came in three different colors. And so she keeps, I think, her markers in there so that it doesn't also doesn't scratch up in there. And then she doesn't have nothing at the bottom. So that is how she has everything organized and it's just so cute and th this desktop that i have is the 47 inch one they also have one that's 55 inch but it would be too big and then also over here this is the bedding that i was telling you guys about that she got from target isn't it beautiful it's like this nice kind of like i don't know i don't know what kind of blue to call this but it's a nice little blue with flowers on it it's so cute and then she got this white comforter this thick like white comforter separately to go with it and then she made her little bed. She loves her little like stuffed animals and stuff like that. And then this um, bookcase, we've had it for a long time. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to spray paint it white so that it matches with all her stuff. And then this bed right here is also a bed from Walmart. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. But that is it for Ari's room. Okay, so here's how Brie has hers. Um, she has it in front of her window right now. She might change it because she does have a vanity mirror that she wants to hang up as well. So she might change it to this corner, but she hasn't decided yet. Um, but right now all she has is like her little perfumes right here and this is just a little like party um, plate that you can get at Dollar Tree in um, the party section so we just put the perfumes there and so she has a couple of organization systems that are a little bit different so she used the little black basket as well to organize her planner that I shared with you guys and her notebook at the top and then with the clear organizers she also put the black basket in the back 
and then two of them right here and one right here you see how they fit perfectly it's a little bit you have to kind of like snuggle in but they still fit perfectly so she has her little pencils pens highlighters and then her glasses fit there so you can wet really with these um dividers you can make it work with any drawer how you want it so she did it that way she also has her binder and paper in here and then these are just empty right now um we have to get some more organizers we're actually gonna go back to the store and get it but that's how she has it and then she also has the white comforter as well that's all she got and then she has her little white pillows she has her room pink right now we've had this since she was a little little when she really liked pink and as you can see it's a lot of mess from posters and stuff so we're actually going to repaint her room all white so stay tuned like i said i have a lot of makeovers coming over for um my home and we're going to make over her room and take this pink away and do white but um she is going to get a different like pillows and stuff to decorate with so um, but right now this is how she has it and this comforter this is the one I told you that's 15 bucks at Target okay so this desk right here was the desk that the girls originally had in their room when we first moved into this house I just bought this desk from Walmart I just wanted something you know a little cheap desk to just, just to get by we've had it for the past six years um, before we got the Ikea desk and so I didn't want to throw it away so I brought it here into our little loft area and I decided that I'm going to make this like kind of like the science corner for Bree so all that stuff that I share with you that she got from her science um, boxes, I'm going to put it here. So I have the microscope right here. I already wiped it down. It also comes with like this um, big, large like map. I plan to put this on the wall. And then it also comes with this inflatable like globe. So I plan to put, blow that up and put it here. Um, since the desk have like, we've had it for six years, as you can see, there's some damages to it. So what I plan to do is I am going to cover this up with some contact paper, some marble contact paper. Um, I'll do that another day because, you know, I'm doing so much today. So stay tuned for that. But this desk actually came with like little shelves. That's why the girls wanted another desk because they actually wanted drawers. So this one came with shelves. And so, but it was perfect for this little like science corner because all that stuff that came in the box, I was able to divide it into these little locker bins that you can get from Dollar Tree. And so I'll label them later because you guys know I like to add a label. But I basically took the two boxes of science supplies and divided them into categories and I'll label them. So, and it just, it came out perfect, you know, for this little corner so that that way, she can have all her schoolwork in her bedroom, but the science stuff, which I really don't want it in her room, and I don't want it to mess up her room, it could be here. And so then I have to paint this wall and then add stuff to the wall. So this kind of will be like our little science kind of corner, um, which I'm really excited about. And stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to put some marble contact paper, add the stuff to the wall, and make it a little bit more nicer later on. Okay, guys. So I am done for the day, and I am exhausted because... Those Ikea tables, they gave me trouble, but you know, I got it done. And the girls' rooms look so nice. They love their rooms. They love decorating it. We'll probably have to get some more organization stuff from Dollar Tree. And I know the girls want to get some more things off of Amazon and probably go back to Target and get some more stuff to decorate their desk now that they see how everything looks. So stay tuned to see upcoming videos with the organization and the decorations of their room. We're going to be repainting Bree's room and Ari has the furniture that she needs to repaint too so everything matches. So just stay tuned for that if you guys want to see how their rooms turn out. But I love how everything came out and especially like my little like science corner that I have for Bree. So now that when she does all her science experiments, we could just be out there and out of her room and don't have all that mess in the room. And it could be like, kind of like she's going into a science lab, even though she's doing homeschool. So I'm excited for that. So, and I hope that like with all the stuff that we did today, it kind of gets them excited for school, even though most of the time kids are not excited for school, but I am, I'm really excited to see how they're going to do in homeschool and how everything's going to go. And I love when they get excited with the new things in their room. So, and then also stay tuned because I will share with you guys how I did mine, how I'm going to finish up my room and make my vanity. I'm going to add a mirror, some lights and all that stuff. So there's going to be a lot of upcoming, like room makeovers on my channel, decluttering, cleaning, because I need to get this house organized, guys, because over the summer, it's just been very chaotic. And with back to school, we have to switch things up for homeschool. So it's gonna be a lot of changes in this in, in this household. So stay tuned for all that. If you guys need the cleaning motivation, the decluttering motivation, or just some decor inspiration, stay tuned, put the um, notifications on so you, can, you never miss a video. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it today. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.